Tonight's a big story. 10,000 allied health workers have voted to strike next month after 18 months of failed pay negotiations. The union says New Zealand will face unprecedented staffing shortages if district health boards don't pay up and is pleading with the health minister to step in. They're the essential workers who keep our public hospitals, laboratories and operating theatres operating. From sterile services technicians and physiotherapists to mental health workers. Pay negotiations with DHBs have limped through the pandemic for 18 months. Now the union says it's out of options. So 10,000 workers will refuse to work overtime through mid-May and will strike for 24 hours on the 16th. In a statement to News Hub, Health Minister Andrew Little said he urged the parties to continue working towards an agreement and that he understands progress on the matter has been made in just the past couple of weeks. Little went on to say the sooner those parties can agree, the sooner work can begin on the workforce's pay equity claim. It all comes just days after the New Zealand Nurses Organisation did a U-turn on an historic pay equity deal, saying the lack of back pay was a major issue. Well, for more on this, let's bring in Will Matthews from the Public Service Association. Will, thanks so much for joining us tonight. Uh, Andrew Little seems to think that the union and the DHBs can sort this out amongst themselves. So uh, is he wrong about that? How are we at the point where you're actually going to strike? Uh, kia ora, Ingrid. Uh, thanks for having me. So as the minister has said, we have made progress in facilitation over the last couple of weeks. Unfortunately, that's still not enough. So basically, the DHBs have been given a mandate or an envelope of money that they can offer us, and it has been made very clear that that envelope has now been exhausted. We need the Ministry of Health to come to the table with a revised mandate to push us over the line. We're close, but we do need more. So we are striking because our workers, our allied health workers, haven't forgotten that they deserve fair pay and they won't uh, back down until they have a fair pay offer. OK, how tough are your workers doing it? Uh, it, is, uh, it is tough out there for them. So at the bottom end uh, of our pay scales, we have workers like our sterile supplies technicians, Hawaii Māori workers, dental assistants, who are making uh, on or just above the minimum wage with not a lot of opportunities for progression. A lot of them are seeing higher paying jobs in places like KFC and Bunnings with a lot less stress. So that's looking tempting for them. A bit further up the scale, we have... Uh, people like physios and occupational therapists who are seeing workers with similar qualifications like nurses being paid thousands of dollars more than them consistently throughout their careers. Those workers are also being actively recruited by Australian health authorities who are able to offer tens of thousands of dollars more, even as a starting rate, than our members can ever hope to earn in New Zealand. So you would say we're going to lo lose some of these workers to those other jobs and the other markets over the Tasman? Absolutely. That's, we are at risk of a huge skills gap unless we can get a fair pay offer here. And the other issue that, that creates is a huge recruitment and retention issue. So massive uh, rates of burnout, exhaustion and other issues due to that under, chronic understaffing that's been created because these are not attractive jobs. OK, well, just quickly then, what is it going to take to avert this strike action? So we're looking for a pay offer that will help our members keep afloat with the skyrocketing cost of living. Like I said, we're nearly there, but we need the Ministry of Health to come to the table to see us through. Yeah, a lot of people needing some action from Andrew Little at the moment. Well, thanks so much for your time. Thank you.